Right now the lighting is amazing, but it's freaking hot in here. This was not the dress to wear today. My boobs are sweaty. Ah. So, I can't. I can't. A couple of weeks ago, I told you guys that I would make it a goal in life to get my makeup done in every single city that I I went to. And I already failed that promise. <laughs> if you don't know, a couple of months ago, I went to Brazil, I went to Rio, I went to Sao Paulo, and I got my makeup done in Sao Paulo. But I didn't get it done on Rio, because I was 48 hours there in my defense, so yeah. But then, after that, I went to Argentina, I went to Buenos Aires, and I was there for a full 10 days, and I didn't get my makeup done. You don't have insurance. You don't have insurance. <laughs> David! David is crazy oh enough that he's gonna go for a freaking Argentina plate <laughs> that is right there, somewhere. And did you see the, the cars coming? He's gonna die. I'm gonna catch David. Die on camera. David Maldonado. I swear to God. He's ambulance. He's gonna get killed by an ambulance. <gasps> David! <laughs> Is that illegal? <laughs> But I really wanted to get my makeup done there. I just didn't find the time or the will because it was freezing, okay? And I, all I wanted to do was just be in the Airbnb and eat freaking instant noodles. Anyway, I still wanted to do something for Argentina. When I was in Argentina, I felt Argentina was such a classy vibe, like from the architecture to the way that people used to dress, the lifestyle. Because I'm feeling very Argentinian lately. I'm having some sort of like, I'm missing it a lot. And the classiness that I wanted to bring a little bit that to my day to day over here. And my day to day is to make videos for you. So today, in the spirit of Argentina and an apology to them as well, I will get my makeup done. In a style that I think represents uh, Buenos Aires. Now, people in Buenos Aires are very classy in my opinion, but you know, it's very like, it was screaming old money to me. Now, if you don't know what old money is, I don't leave. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, stay. Let me explain it to you. you know, old money to me, it's like this style that is just like bougie but you're like you're not like that obvious but it's pretty obvious that you come from like old money old money like like your dad has money and his dad also has money and the dad before that one also had like a lot of money so you know old money classy people for like over a hundred years maybe <laughs> they have this very specific luxurious style it's very subtle but like very very like Beautiful. And Argentinian people are like that to me. <laughs> I've been watching like videos on YouTube on how to do old money makeup and it really focuses on skin and then just very luxurious makeup uh, products. And I was like, okay, to be old money, do you necessarily have to like have a lot of money? So in today's video, I decided to do an old money makeup for cheap. So I decided to go a makeup salon that offered hair and makeup for really cheap and just check if it's necessary to have money to look old money. I got my hair and my makeup done for $29. I was very excited to show you this video as soon as possible because for the first time, we're getting the full hair and makeup luxe experience. Okay, it wasn't luxe experience, but the lady offered to like wash my hair and that felt pretty luxurious to me. <laughs> it was not an expensive place. Like I said, I wanted this to be cheap.
If you haven't heard, in Ecuador we're going through a hydroelectric crisis. Now, let me explain that to you. Basically, it hasn't been raining enough, so the dams are filled enough with water that will provide enough electricity to the whole country. But like the uh, electricity companies have decided to cut electricity um, two hours a day. So if you hear any sort of like noise out today here, it's because my friends are co-working here because in my area there's electricity for now. <laughs> anyway, that is not the point, but that was why she didn't have hot water in the salon, which I didn't really mind because cold water has amazing benefits for your hair. It like gives it this shine, it reduces your frizz, and it just helps for hair growth. So. Once in a while, like, I can't handle it. Also, this is a freaking crisis. I cannot ask for a lot. Old money is very subtle makeup usually, but I do think there are ways of keeping the makeup very classy but with a little bit pop, you know? Something that like calls your attention. Whether that's a bold lipstick color or a subtle interesting eyeliner moment. So yeah, we're gonna be using neutral colors, but there has to be a pop of something. That's what I told him. Cut creases and old money just don't like, just don't vibe together. However, I will say he had an amazing polish when it came to like my eyes. It was so well blended and the cut crease looks so smooth and effortless. So yeah, this might have been his bold uh, decision for the makeup and there's still a lot to go. So. Oh, 
The eyeliner, it's giving a lot of Amy Winehouse <laughs> instead of old money but it didn't bother me as much as the grip that this guy was having on my face like damn <laughs> I think I would have rather him not put this eyeshadow. I see what he was trying to do. However, I don't think we nailed it, <laughs> but props for him for trying. I think if it would have worked properly, I think it would have looked very nice. While I was getting my eyebrows combed, I did feel a little bit, um, I wouldn't say assaulted. I was gonna say assaulted, but that's too hard of a word. He, like, I could feel him scratching the skin under my eyebrows, and it didn't help the fact that he was using straight up glue. This is not my preferred uh, product to use on my brows. I think this is a method that a lot of drag queens use and if I'm not wrong they use it to like calm them down not to like just calm them but you know whatever <laughs> Full coverage foundation and old money, I think it could be a thing. However, I do think the skincare routine and old money go even better together. He probably doesn't have every single kind of foundation there is to do a very specific look, but I would have done a little bit less foundation. Also, this is a makeup artist that does this for a living, so Maybe he's expecting every time to be a professional makeup look. And that's why he uses it heavy, like he goes heavy on the skin. I don't know. But personally, I would have gone with less. <laughs> but considering the eye look that we went for, a light foundation look wouldn't have been the greatest thing as well. So I think he was just going with a style that the makeup was developing. <laughs> Thank you. 
in good lighting actually the foundation and the contour and the highlight looked really good however i did feel it was hanging from my face It's giving a little bit of 50 vibes, like it's Marilyn Monroe meets the 2023 graphic liner. Well, it's not really 2023. It's like Euphoria that was like 2021, 2020. Anyway, Marilyn Monroe goes with graphic liner in the 2020s. hate it i will say is it what i asked somewhat yeah i think Marilyn morrow had this like old money vibe but a little bit more bold which at the end i guess that's what i asked i don't think the moi and i had the same vision though so that's why i'm a little bit you know but the eyeshadow so far it's nice i like it While he was drying my hair, I did ask him for how long he has been doing makeup for and he told me a while <laughs> but he told me that he does drag and honestly, that explains so much. <laughs> it makes so much sense this style that he's doing, like the style of makeup that he's doing on me. He also asked me what I wanted to do with my hair. I told him I just wanted a simple blowout. I think at this point, less is more but then he said like you should do like waves and i was like i don't think i have the time but he was like it takes the same time so i said then sure whatever <laughs>
The only old money part of this makeup look is the old part. I absolutely love my hair and I'm so happy that we went for the waves. However, I look 20 years older. <laughs> Like I said before, the foundation actually looked really nice and nice lighting. However, the lipstick... I don't want to talk about the lipstick. The iris had such a weird like shape around them. Like they were in a box, but he never really filled them out. I don't know if he forgot or that was actually just the look that we were going for. <laughs> Is it old money? No. Is it a gorgeous eyeshadow? Yeah, I absolutely love the eyeshadow. I actually kept the eyeshadow for the rest of the day. I just had to take everything off because I, I felt like my pores are screaming for oxygen, you know? I may not have done my makeup in Argentina, but we did try, like, taste test a lot of alfajores. If you don't know what alfajores is, it's basically just a traditional street in Argentina, and we try to try as many as possible. So you guys, I had a great idea. Well, it was a spontaneous idea. The other day, we were to buy essentials, and we ended up buying what? Alfajores. Too many for a normal person to consume, so we got three normal people to Yeah. Because I didn't even see the names, I just started grabbing everything. Yeah. So we're gonna do, not a tier list, but we're just gonna try them out. Why magenta? Se da el alfajor. Is this iconic? Yeah, this is. Okay. Now, because we're civilized people, I'm gonna cut it up. Cheers, everyone. First, no. This is the first alfajor. This is my first alfajor. Mm-mm. Pretty traditional. Mm. You know? Uh, like soft. It's good. It just keeps getting better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really. So eight out of ten. I would say it's a nine point five. Vaquita. Mm -hmm. Fajor de arroz. Ah. Es una croqueta de arroz. Es como una forfeta o qué? Yeah. Instead of um Let's Square? It's square and it's light. <gasps> no? Oh, yeah. San... No, 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 I liked it. It doesn't taste like an alfajor. Yeah, I liked it. We're going to rate them. It was interesting. Best to worst. But that's our rating or your rating? General rating. Oh. Okay, general rating. Insane, this cause... was better than this. Right? Te gustó más este? No, I liked it. So, in the bottom. Here, next one. Alfajor Jorquito. Now, so, I think this is a popular one here. No, this is the... Alfajor Jorquito. What's the number two? Oh, See? it looks cool. Oh, so this one was a square. Alfajor is not a square. Okay, square. it looks more premium. That one is like... Mm. Is it a little bit licorice? Too dry. No, I like it. Masa. I like this one. No, this I like more like one. Same. Yeah. You know? I really don't have taste. I'm getting like sugar rush already. Alfa Pamba. Ooh, this looks fancy. Ah, <coughs> uh, So look at the amount of dulce de leche oh, that this one has. Oh no, I'm not gonna like this I one. I like a good radio of dulce de leche and alfajor. Okay, cheers. <laughs> ¿Comprarías tu wedding meal otra vez? No. Pero no está malo. Si alguien me lo regala, me lo va a comer. Ok, this one's more wet, right? I don't like the ratio of the dulce de leche. I like dulce de leche, so this one, yeah. 
for me is better than this one. This one was too dry. Same. Like I had to actually drink coffee because it was too dry. This one was better than this one. I would put both the same, honestly. <laughs> okay. Oh. I was waiting for this one. This is actually in the list. It's number five. This is Milka Mousse Blanc Alfajor. It's double layers. Not that one, but the Milka Alfajor is our number five on the list. It's pretty thin already. It's like a cookie, it's not alcohol. So it's cheap. Yeah, it's industrial. No hay amor, what's the next one? Oh, why? Se desbarató. Se desbarató totalmente. Okay, one. No. Cheap chocolate, cheap cookie. Y el dulce de leche no ni siquiera dulce de leche. Yeah, that was like. <laughs> yeah, and the bottom. I'm not even gonna finish that. <laughs> okay, my turn? Mm -hmm. Is this for us? One cup of uh, what? Two? Oh, this is the other one. You know what? I also have low expectations for this. Better though it looks than better. this one. Ooh. Yeah, that one it looks, looks like Oreo. It does smell like Oreo. Ah, in vez de dulce de leche, is the cream. Looks cool. With milk? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like. <laughs> it's better than the milk huh? Yes. No. See. Mm -mm. So what is closest to an alfajor? It would be this. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. But this, I like this one. I would eat this one with milk. I wouldn't eat this one at all. True. It's more likely that I eat this one than this one. Yeah. No, I mean more likely this one. David is always on the other side. So no, it's, it's so two bad. against one though. Focus. I'm sorry, no, this is disgusting. This but, is barrel. This one was really bad. But... Capitan del Espacio! Now, there's a dis a dispute in Argentina for this one and this al Jorquito. Oh, this so, one? Jorquito, that's like the OG of Alfajores. I saw a TikTok, people saying that this was the best one. Yeah. What? Oh, it smells nice. No, you're gonna make a mess, dude. Let's try it. Soft. Será Capitán del Espacio because it's like frozen? <laughs> it feels a little bit more homemade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. I'm not sure. No. Do I like it? It's missing like the chocolate. It has too much sugar. Uh -huh. like, it's I would put it third. It was better there? than the rice thing. True, it was better than this. I like the rice thing. <laughs> Let's put it like this for you, okay? We're just... This was horrible for me. We have like three different types of... <laughs> here, you know, In like one they... category, there's like three cookies already. <laughs> but there's not an alfajor. Alfajor is not, not like alfajor, rice but this was good. In alfajor ranking, this is more mm. alfajor than this. So... Mmm. Mmm. Wait, we have one left. The team. I like This is not on the list. So. It feels cheap, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna sell in like So there's apparently one I cajor the mixture of this two. Mamilka and Oreo and that's number five. The worst of the both. We actually tried later on and honestly it was the best alfajor ever. We ate like Three a day. I'm not even kidding you. Okay, I'm like, oh, I like it. It's cookie and just a little layer of. Oh, you know what? There's no layer at all. Mm -hmm. Will you buy it again? Yeah. No. These are better than this. This is a ratio. This is like a terrible ratio. Of yeah, of course these are better. No, I'm not sure where to put it here. Mm -hmm. Maybe here. Yes, I would put it here. it's better than this one. This is better than this one. It's like a old person alfajor, I feel like. <laughs> you know? Yeah. We saw alfajor picture and I don't find You bought when I bought the Ariana one. I know, but I don't think so. Did I eat it? <gasps> no. I remember. <laughs> On her sleep. <laughs> no freaking way. No freaking way. Aunque no es fácil conseguirlo, vale la pena la búsqueda. So. You know what? It is hard to find a good alfajor because out of those two, three, two, four, six, eight, I would buy again. Well, to be it's honest, 
I would put Jorgito number one. This, I don't know what this is. This is, don't buy this. <clears throat> And yeah, that was pretty much it for today's video. Um, I will definitely have to go back to Argentina and get my makeup done. And also, I will have to go back to Rio and get my makeup done. Because I made you a promise. And I will keep it. Let me know what city you would like to see me in. And I will try my best to go over there and get my makeup done. Let me try this again. It's so bad <laughs> i hope you enjoyed today's video and i will see you next time on my next video goodbye